Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a keyframe on the Clipchamp application. So, first of all, of course, all you need to do just go and open the Clipchamp application if you already have it downloaded into your PC. Of course, if you have it, this will be great. But if you don't, you only need to go and download it through Microsoft Store or any uh, uh, or any browser you're currently using, of course. For the Windows 11 users, you will find this already downloaded per default into your PC. So, just go and check it out. And of course, if you are a Windows 10 user, you may find this already downloaded and you may not. So, of course, if you have it downloaded, that will be great. But if you don't, you'll need to go and download this. And of course, the download steps must be easy because you must have been downloading something in your PC before. So, if you download it or you just have it and you'll need to go and open it up. As I'm going to do here to follow the tutorial steps. And of course, here, this will be actually our home screen or main screen if you are logged into your account. Make sure to log into your account. And if you don't have an account, just go and create one. So you can actually use the application for free or you can even like subscribe with them if you want. So you can actually more use more features or all the features or the effects, filters and etc. And here we can actually start editing a new video, or record something on the application then start editing on it. Or you can just go and choose some of their templates here so we can start using them. Or you can just go and keep editing some of your recent video, which I'm going to do here. And as we said, in the beginning of the video, we would like to actually add a keyframe on the application. So, so first of all, keyframes, of course, in editing video keyframes are used to mark like specific points and times where you want an effect to begin or end. For example, if you want a clip to fade in from black, you would like to add a keyframe at the beginning and the clip and set the transparency to zero if you want. So, of course, you can like, for example, even add some transitions if you want. You can just go here and trim the video, then add your transition, the free ones, of course, because we have we don't we are not paying. Of course, you can even like go and select your video, of course, here. And let's say, for example, we would like to add the fade. As you can see, you can fade in and fade out. And now we can check the video, like doing this. Of course, I have the video slowed, so you can just get this back as normal. And now do this, this. And now uh, it should be good. So, normally, that will be it. So, this is actually for the C-Story. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.